my February favourites and as usual it is very hard to believe that February is gone even though February is a short month but it feels like Christmas is kind of only I'm only getting back into routine after Christmas. Does anyone else feel like that? Anyway, okay let's get into the video straight away. Um, first product that I've been loving throughout the month of February. I feel like I've been kind of lazy in February so this is why I kind of like this. This is a dry shampoo. I think I might have mentioned this in the favourites before but I want to give another mention because I think it actually is one of my ultimate favourites. This one and the Dove one. I really like both but I've been using this one on a lot. Using this one a lot. This is the Tresemme Instant Refresh Dry Shampoo for normal to oily hair. Um, I have fairly normal hair but it's just on those days that it doesn't need to be washed but you want it to kind of be a bit fresher and fluff it up a bit and give it a bit of life. This is really good for just boosting life into it. Um, just adding a bit of texture and a bit of grit when you want to like yeah just add a bit of fluff kind of add a bit of something happening to your hair rather than to being just flat and kind of like boring so I'll, I really like that even though this is probably one of the pricier ones watch out for these because they're on offer so yeah I've been really liking that also I might have a bit of a theme going on here because I've been having a bit of havoc with my skin during the month of February I'm not sure why it's still fairly cold here in Ireland it was literally just snowing today um, so I just have to stopping so my skin has been creating problems now I have normal skin my face and my body. Um, I get dry patches on my arms which I've mentioned before so I find it hard to find a moisturiser, a body moisturiser that suits me well. I've been really really liking this one this month. This is the Garnier Intensive 7 Days. Um, this is the very dry skin one with, what is it, El Bifidus Shea Butter. You can get different ones for different different type of skin so I went for the very extreme one. Now I'm not sure about the whole 7 days things. I just I don't like these claims of numbers. I never believe them. Although maybe I should maybe I should actually put this to the test. But basically I've been loving it. It applies really nicely. It smells gorgeous and it absorbs fast. And those are like things that I really look for. I want it to smell nice. I don't want it to aggravate my skin and I want it to absorb fast and this does it. I got this in boots. Again, I got this on offer. Um, but I think it's around the four or five euro mark, I think. So it's a nice enough size. It's not too big because I, I feel if I get things that are too big I, n I never end up using them or I feel like they go bad and then I don't want to use it so I feel like this is just kind of a nice size so I've been really liking that for, as a body moisturiser then for my face because my face has been a bit strange this month again I think it's down to the cold weather and because I've had central heating on it and inside in work we have a radiator and I feel like my my skin is just getting dehydrated Um, so this is one thing that I've been loving this month this is the Aven Soothing Moisture Mask now it's a bit of a strange one because they say it's a mask, but really it's like an intensive moisturiser because you don't necessarily have to take this off. Um, if your skin needs it, it just soaks it up, so you don't actually have to take it off. But if there is a bit of excess left over, you can just wipe it off with um, with a cotton pad. So it's, it's a bit odd that it's called a mask. It doesn't harden or anything like that. So if you're afraid of trying a mask that hardens, if you don't like the feel of something cracking kind of on your face, definitely give this one a go. It's really, really hydrating and your your skin feels really soft after it. And it's kind of handy that you don't necessarily have to take it off. Now I do wipe off a bit in the end anyway because I feel like I'm meant to. I don't know, it's kind of weird leaving it on my face because I want to moisturise afterwards too. But I've been really liking that one. And then also for my dry skin, the other event thing, I think I've mentioned this before as well, this is the Clenin's Emulsion Lotion for oily blemish prone skin. Now I don't have blemish prone skin but I like this because it gives a kind of a matte finish even though it's a really really hydrating um, moisturiser. Any of the event products I really really like them if you've dehydrated skin, dry dehydrated skin. I just really really like them and I like this one because it dries to a matte finish but it's still hydrating but because it gives a matte finish I find it's a good base for your foundation. A lot of the times I find it very kind of problematic to get a, um, a, a moisturiser that mixes well with the foundation and because this leaves a matte finish I think it just works really well as a base for foundation and it gives you hydration. So these are kind of a bit more on the pricey side. I think this is about between 20 and 25 maybe about 22 euro I think it is but they're really really well worth the money if you have really dehydrated skin. And the last thing kind of for my skin crisis has been the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Balm A5, I think it's called, or AP? I thought it was A5. But basically this is it in a, yeah, the Lipicar range. There's loads of different products in this range. But this is just basically a really, really intense kind of spot treatment moisturiser. Um, my forehead and my nose have been really dry. I don't know why my forehead, I don't know, like I don't have oily skin like I said, but my if I do get dry skin, it always kind of shows my forehead. And because I was a bit sick at the start of the month, my nose was being rubbed a lot, so I had a lot of dry skin at my nose. So I just popped a bit of this on 
um, at night time because it really is very thick and it does leave a bit of a layer. Um, I just applied a bit at night time and then put my, my moisturiser on over it. I found it worked really well. It's just kind of a bit quick fix. It just adds a big boost of moisture into your skin and it's soothing and repairing and healing. So this is definitely one to check out if for a kind of a multi-purpose, multitasker kind of product. And then moving on to the my next few bits are some makeup bits. I don't want this video to be long. Oh my god, if you're going to buy anything from this video today, buy this mascara. This is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. Holy shit balls. I think it's one of my ultimate favourite mascaras. This is just really, really nice. Um, I'll show you up close there as I'm speaking or in a second. But the wand is lovely, the texture of it is lovely. One second, I'll show you up close now. Okay, so I hope you can kind of see there, that's the kind of wand it has. So it is kind of curved and has the kind of rubber bristles, but it works into your lashes really, really well. It doesn't pull out too much product. It has a bit of a, a bit of a wiper on it, but again, I don't mind there being too much product. I'm all about the mascara. I love loads of mascara. But this just really, it's really, really smooth. There's no clumps. It like pulls your lashes up. So it's whatever it is about it, I just think it's really smooth, it leaves your lashes very smooth looking, um, no clumps, it defines them, it kind of separates them out. Now it's not the hugest one for volume, but for length and separation it just makes you look like you've loads more lashes, which kind of therefore makes it kind of voluminous in a way. Oh, oh my god, I'm absolutely obsessed, really really love this, and I've only had this, I only got this towards the end of the month, so I'm cheating a bit because I haven't had it the whole month but it's really really good I really really like it and apparently as well it's a kind of a dupe for the new Benefit is the Benefit Rollerball mascara I think it's called um really really love this mascara so try that out I'm actually do, do a separate review on it but I basically told you about it there okay the next three things are lips can't do favorites without any lips lip products um first up is one of the NYX butter glasses I really really love the shade this is the shade Eclair and it's just kind of muted dusky kind of pink but when it goes on your lips it's just it goes fairly light oh I love the smell of it it's fairly light dusky pink so it's kind of like a nudie pink rather than you're wearing like pink lips um it smells unbelievable you could eat it it smells like like vanilla cupcakes goes on really really smoothly and it's just a no fuss lovely lip gloss i really really like these and these are very inexpensive too and the next two work kind of as a duo for me this is what i have on my lips at the moment this is the gerard lipstick in 1995 and um, it's fairly infamous here on youtube at the moment i think a lot of people are all about these kind of brownie muted what's not even muted is it just kind of brownie overdrawn lips not that my lips are too over they're not really overdrawn at all at the moment i wish i had bigger lips Oh, I'm yabbing. Basically, this is what I have on my lips today because I kind of wanted to show you. Um, so 1995, as you can see, it's just kind of like, it's a rosy brown kind of colour. I'll go up close. Okay, so I hope you can kind of see there. It's just kind of, it looks like nothing in a stick. But once you put on your lips, it's just a colour that kind of works with everything. It's kind, yeah, like I said, it's kind of a rosy brown colour, which sounds kind of crap. But it just kind of goes with any kind of, like, any kind of eye colour or any kind of cheek colour, it just kind of works well with everything. And it is matte, but it's one of the softest mattes I've ever used. It's almost like a creamy matte. So it's like a creamy lipstick, but it has a matte finish, which is really, really nice. And I found a lip colour or a lip liner to go really, really match with this very well. It's from Rimmel and it's one of the Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Liners. And this is in the colour 18 Addiction. And it's handy because it has the swirl up kind of applicator so it's very very handy that you don't have to pair it or anything like that so I found that these two work really really well together and I've been just loving those at the moment because I'm trying to um experiment more with my eyes recently so I have the liner on and I'm trying to practice it it's not great don't hate me first but I'm just trying my best to kind of work more on my eyes because I'm obsessed with lip stuff but yeah I've been really really loving these two all of February and then the last one is just kind of a random one it's a bit of music and this is um, Hudson Taylor's debut album. It's called um, Songs for Strangers, or Singing for Strangers, sorry, and it just got released this year. I am obsessed with it. The Hudson Taylor, they actually started off on YouTube in case you don't know who they are. They're a band from Dublin, they're actually brothers, and they started off originally on YouTube. Um, so you can check out their channel, I'll link their channel below. They're really, really good. If you kind of like um, indie, like Mumford and Sons kind of, kind of a vibe I think you'll really really like those so definitely check them out and I like to kind of just support people who come from YouTube it's just kind of 
a bit close to my heart I suppose because I'm on, I'm on YouTube but genuinely this is such a good album and I wish them all the success in the world because I think they really deserve it. They seem to be two very hard working lads and I really really like their album. This was like 13 euro in, where did I get it? Golden Discs in Cork. Um, so I'm not sure if they're in H and B or whatever, but yeah, I leave a link to their YouTube channel and maybe their website or whatever below. So I've been really liking that music, and that is it. Um, so if you have any favourites you want to let me know about or any dupes for things that I talk about, I love to find out kind of dupes for things or similar products. So leave a comment below um, if you know any dupes or any products that I've used. Um, thanks so much for watching, and that's it. Talk soon. Bye.